Hello and welcome back to the Penno channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. This is a match reaction to Aston Villa versus Wolves. 1-1 one, one draw. Um, a fair result in the end, I think, for both sides. Um, it was a game of two halves for me. Wolves were the better side in the first half by a mile. And Aston Villa got themselves back into the game, second half. And could have won it at the end. We we're lucky not to do so, but the point was the fair result from that. Um, going into the first half, initially, great. Um showing the support for Emi Martinez at the start of the game. It was really nice to see him come out with his World Cup medal and the uh, goalkeeper of the tournament trophy. Really good atmosphere at the start. Um, the crowd were up for it, um, but the performance didn't show that in the first half. It was all Wolves. Wolves were all over us. Um, thoroughly deserving the goal. It's a great goal from Podence, the way he's chucked inside, gone around Mings and put it in the far corner. Emi Martinez had no chance with the goal. They had other opportunities with uh, Mateus Nunes as well. He went through on goal and Martinez made a great save. And to be honest, Villa didn't really do much in the first half. They, did, they, did, they had a, like, a little onslaught at the last five minutes. But apart from that, Villa didn't um, impact the game. They didn't impose themselves on the game in that first half. And Wolves were deserving of that lead and probably were disappointing not to be further ahead. Um, McGinn came out the squad and Matty Cash was in the lineup starting at right midfield that, and then Emi Martinez came in for Olsen there was the two changes to the starting eleven. I think Wolves went the same as they did against Manchester United I don't think there was any changes to that and that midfield three were dominating the game um, their press was like um, really impactful their press was just forthright they they didn't stop Hoang and Pedence were just getting on to Dinu and Cash we had to keep the ball deep, even from goal kicks. We couldn't get the ball out. We were trying to pass it out, play through him, but we just couldn't. They were cutting all the angles off. Um, Diego Costa was really good in holding up possession as well and just disrupting the centre-backs and just allowing Nunes, Martinho and Nunes especially to have time on the ball. And one thing with uh, Mateus Nunes is when he has time on the ball and he sees space, he'll progress that ball. And he was doing it quite a lot. He was progressing it through our midfield with ease from their final third to our final third. So it was a really poor starting starting first half from Villa. Um, you know, Bailey and Buendia just had no security with the ball in their possession. They were trying to do stuff, but they just couldn't keep on to the ball. And sometimes, you know, you have to play it simple just so we can move up the pitch. Uh, Bailey offers that as an outlet, getting up, we can, you know, we can play it long to him or play it to feet and ask him to run with the ball. But then, uh, yeah, it just wasn't clicking. Um, Wendy just kept losing possession further forward as well, which which I noticed a lot. Watkins wasn't getting any service really of note. Um, it's all well and good him running in behind and stuff, but he's got to have the service to go with that. And then just the, the, the defence was just, it was slow, the build-up was very slow. Now, the build-up can be slow and meticulous if you're looking to pro progress the ball at some point and play a forward pass, but there was limited options for the defence to do that. And they weren't doing it when the option was on. Um, the wing-backs, I thought, were poor. Ashley Young and Digne, the full-back, was just very poor throughout the game, especially Digne. Um, I've noticed with Digne, he's very stationary, limited when he's on the ball. You know, he, he can pass at times when he can cross, but it's it's very stationary. He has to take a touch and wait and set himself. It just slows down the game. And I thought he had a really poor game yesterday. Um, and him getting taken off later on in the second half was uh, fully, you know, it was the right decision to make. But yeah, um, Villa offered nothing that half and Emi Martinez kept us in it. You know, it could have been 2-0 to um, with the Mateus Nunes shot. And we go into the second half and I really wanted us to just attack their full-backs. I thought Bueno for them had a really good game. He didn't let much go past him. Uh, Nelson Semedo did well as well. Um, and the changes were required and at half-time, you know, they brought on Adama Traore, which was a threat. He was a threat when he came on straight away. We brought on uh, Coutinho, took, on, took off Ashley Young, which was fair, and dropped Matty Cash into right-back. And even then, the start of the, the second half, it was still Wolves who played a better game than us. They were continuing their press that they had in the first half. You know, with um, Huang, Podence had come off, which was, I thought, it was a good thing for us because he was their best player probably first half. 
but um, Adam Machuare offers a different threat in, threat in behind, and I think uh, Lapetegui noticed that Digne just wasn't having a good game at all, and he did get in behind um, within the first few minutes, and Martinez made another good save from uh, Adam Machuare, and things really didn't change until um, and we made the three subs where we took off uh, Digne, which was um, fair. Douglas Suiz, which was fair, because Kamara and Douglas Suiz weren't at it yesterday. They didn't have a good game at all. They weren't at the levels they were at the weekend, which happens. And then it also took off Ollie Watkins for Danny Ings, which is, again, fair enough. Um, he just wanted to change it up, and it did. It changed it up. Uh, Wolves brought on eight Nori as well, who I thought had a good game, especially in transition on their side. I noticed he played further forward than he usually does, and they kept Bueno on. And, uh, you know, he had that great opportunity again where they could have scored. Um, Martinez makes another great save. Uh, but with um, Coutinho and Buendia, it meant that we could just try and get the ball. They could get into little pockets of space and draw in the full-backs. So the, the, our full-backs had further space out wide. And it did happen. You know, Coutinho was picking up pockets of space. We were a bit more good in possession, strong in possession and keeping the ball. Not too many risks being played. And we managed to keep hold of the ball up further up the pitch, which had allowed us to try and generate and create some chances. Initially, the first 15 minutes of that second half, the crosses were just getting headed out clear. They weren't finding any targets. But the more with the substitutions and the more we went into it, um, you know, we were we were trying, we were trying and getting into better positions with that. Um, one thing I have about the defence at times is just a progressive passing. Like we, it's good to keep the ball at times to draw them out, but sometimes we've got to have that killer pass, that progressive pass. And that came with the sec with the first goal and um, second goal of the game, our first goal with the Danny Ings goal. Mings has actually taken a step forward and taken responsibility to play the ball. And it's a fantastic ball over the top. Ings perfect touch and a great finish. It's a really good goal. Caught their centre backs out of position and made the most of it from there. Really good goal to make it 1-1. Uh, other chances within that, I don't know how Max Kilman's clearly off the line from Augustinson. Augustinson played well when he came on. That's a great strike and it's a great clearance off the line from Max Kilman. Um, but yeah, it was good to see the full-backs getting, then getting further forward and we were really on them the last 10 minutes and, you know, it was unlucky not to get a second and obviously Leon Bailey missed that chance of the air, which he should score, he should score that. Um, even if it's on his weaker foot. I thought he made the right decision with going around the keeper instead of trying to lob him. And all he needed, he could have taken another touch and just finished it, but, you know, he's mishit it. And it's just one of those things. Um, but I thought towards the last 20, especially, we're attacking down their left, our right constantly. And he was the, only, the main outlet for that. You know, sometimes he wasn't getting past the man, but sometimes he was beating the man as well. He had the one where he beat lot four and then had the shot um, or he tried to cross it back and it got deflected. He won a few corners as well. I just think they doubled up really well with Eight Nori and Bueno on that side. I think Bueno had a really good game uh, for Wolves and restricted us on that. But the tactics worked. Emre, you know, it's great to see him change it again. The tactics did work. And it just changed the game into our fans. Danny Ings as well for that Bailey chance at the end a fantastic ball and that's what Danny Ings offers you know if, if it's a starter off the bench he's a totally different style of player to Watkins much better on the ball um, not as good around the pitch and other attributes of holding it up but he has technical class and we saw that yesterday with the finish and then the free ball for Leon Bailey as well so yeah overall it was a fair point uh Bit gutted that we didn't score at the end, but it's a fair point. Um, on the basis of the game, Wolves had chances as well. They had and numerous chances, which I've mentioned. So it's a fair result. Martinez was the busier of the two goalkeepers. Martinez had a good game coming back. Um, and yeah, the defence improved second half. It still caught us a bit, but that's because we were pushing forward, trying to get the goal. Uh, the midfield wasn't great today. Um, Dendonka shored it up a bit more. Even though he's not that good with transitioning the ball, he did shore it up and he was a bit of, you know, steel and strength into the midfield. And I thought the attackers in bits weren't great. They weren't great first half, but second half, the pressure was there and it's something to improve on. It's a good point. That's 10 points out of 15 now. That's a good start for Emery. I think it's only John Gregory who's had a better start in the Premier League with 12 points from, from five. 
So it's a, it's a really good start. And, uh, you know, Emery will identify where we were weak in that game and how we go about in January if we're trying to improve where we need it. I think there's a few positions we need a progressive passer at centre-back, someone who can pass the ball with intent, whether that's Diego Carlos. He he did have those, you know, attributes at Sevilla and when he comes back in, but we need someone who can do that. Full-backs for me, I just think. In a game like that, if we've got to... You know, floating tens like Coutinho and Buendia on the pitch, the fullbacks have got to be able to get forward and produce and be technically sound on the ball, as well as being like having pace on the. You saw what Eight Nori did with that run. We don't have a fullback capable of doing doing that sort of thing, like good on the ball and dribbling with the ball. Our fullbacks are quite. Whether it's Cash, he can bomb forward, but he's not tech, technically sound on the ball. And Digne might be better technically, but he can't get a pass. He can't beat no one. Digne, Digne, you notice he'll just stop and he'll either whip it in or play a pass. He can't he can't do that. Um, whether that's Alex Moreno, we'll have to wait and see if that happens. And then um, yeah, just forward play. We need another winger. We need more pace going forward for sure. That's for sure. Because that's what Wolves were trying to kill us with was pace, and they nearly did with the few chances they had, and we don't offer that outlet except for Bailey. And if Bailey's not on it, then who else has the pace really out wide to to do anything? We don't have it. Uh, but yeah, with Emery, shout out to Emery again, changing it and it's worked. He's got a point from that game and not unlucky, and we were unlucky not to win it. Um, you know, Stevenage on the weekend and a week for Leeds now. We'll see what happens in the transfer window if we get anyone in. But it's positive. It's it's all positive. Few players had poor performances, but. The majority, the second half, showed fight. And it's great to see, even though Liam Bailey was gutted at the end, you know, Danny Ings and Watkins were showing their full backing of them, um, going to pick him up, even though he looked distraught. And that shows he has, he cares, he cares about the club, which is a good thing. A lot of players would have just walked down the tunnel if they'd missed that opportunity, you know. He does show he cares. Um, fans at half-time booing, that's it's not on really, is it? Like, I don't know why they're booing. Um... Come on, lad. Like Emery's had a few games there. If you're booing the performance, then I, I don't understand why. It, it was a shocking first half. Teams had poor performances. Just you know, you've got to support them throughout the whole the whole ninety. Um, so I didn't agree with that. But what was good was the atmosphere throughout that second half. It was much better, you know, singing uh, Unai Emery's Camp Army and other chants throughout that. Just continuous support, and I think that helped them a lot. I think it showed on the pitch that that improved. The display because they had the full support and it does show that the fans are the 12th man and we need to be more supportive at games so yeah that was the main talking points from the game it's a good point it's a fair point um just couldn't capitalize at the end and it's just one of those games you know we've had good results throughout to maintain our unbeaten streak of like four out of five games now you, you take that you take that definitely. It's disappointment, but you're not going to be great every game. And when you're not great, it's good. When you're not great, it's the main thing is you get something out of the game, which we've done. So on to, on to Steve Nidge at the weekend and then Leeds next week. Um, thanks for your time. Um, if you like the video, if you could like, comment, subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. Uh, share the video as well. And I'll see you on the next one.